chapter 7. Yeah. We haven't finished chapter 7, unfortunately. Almost done. Almost done. The fuel? Yeah, um, maybe. Yeah. When we do it for Pedro, since chapter 7 is so extensive, will you use the paper of like in the homework of the problems that you would most likely, I mean, we would still be responsible for it, but in order to study for the chapter? Uh, uh, yeah, that I can't do. No? Because uh, I've already um, cut down the, the homework assignment for chapter 7 is not that long. <laughs> You know, for example, um, if, if you look at Hess's law, I assign three problems. Two problems. Three problems. It's already, you know, it's not that long. If you look at the integrated advance, I didn't assign all of them, just kind of just here and there. So it's already kind of pre-selected. We're doing this one, 107, right now. We're going to finish it. I'm not quite done with it, but 107 is going to be just about it. That's going to wrap this whole chapter. Yeah. 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 No. Can it be after the barium sulfate due date that are in the middle? Well, the, the barium sulfate is due to the same thing. Yeah, it's a little bit more. Why? No, we haven't officially moved it yet. It hasn't been officially moved yet. So it's not in the three? No, no, the exact due date it hasn't been determined. I thought you said it was the 30th. It's been changed for that? We got it on the We got it on the no, it's at Thursday, the 30th, yeah, uh, on Piazza. Thursday, the 30th. Uh, the, well, it, I, I didn't post it on Piazza, I announced it in the class. Uh, we, uh, because some people asked, the bundle here. Yeah. That's where I got the due date. Right, me too. Okay, I'm going well, to fix it on Piazza. Have you, how far along are you, Matthew, on that? Yeah, on the fault date analysis. Uh, the calculations. All right. My question for the exponents for a situation where the king lost. I lost my partner. Okay. The initial is small. We find it easy. You know they were going to put back in. That's the only good thing. And this is what we get for the work. Mm -hmm. This is your data mm -hmm. And how come you said that data U? Okay, data H is greater than data U. But data H is basically data H plus the work. And equal to the data U. So this, how come this is bigger? But how come this, one, this plus this is the same as this one? Because this is negative. You have to draw the arrow, not two-headed arrow. This is negative, this is positive. So this one was negative, this direction. Yeah, and okay. this is negative. Th erase that. Which one? This one is it. This is it. This is negative. This is negative. So this is negative 2,000. This is going to be like negative 2,100. Or negative 3,000. Negative 3,100. Oh, this one's good. Okay, this is negative. Yeah. This is negative. Right. This is positive. Right. So you have to add it. Right. right. When you add the positive with the negative, it cuts it down. Um, but the, the thing, when you compare the oh, negative, fix everything. you have to fix everything. Don't write double-headed arrows. The arrow direction is important. Right. Okay. Okay, so what about this one? This one I confused too, like, because the design here, but oh, did we finish all these? I can't. Yeah, we did, okay. but because my sign messed up here. Yeah, it's messed up, yeah. This is angle. Okay. So, so why don't you fix them all and I'll check them. Okay. Try to fix them yourself, okay. I have two problems. Okay. First problem is both my lab partners have a dog. Evelyn is um, like last week, I went before we did a collab that I left early, so Michelle still had some of my um, items from the lab. Now they're locked in her drawer. You can get the get it from the stock. Ask her to open it. Okay. Uh, that's my two items out of the area without having to get charged for it. So what should I do as far as the formal lab? 
Well, it, it depends because, um, depends on what people want it, you know. For the uh, sulfate analysis, have you guys thought about the due date on that? The due date was uh, officially October 30th, before Halloween, next week, right. The, the, okay, the original, uh, the, my original plan was just to collect it at the, the, the end of the semester. Do you guys want to have it due at the end of the semester? Yeah. 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 All right. Final project. This will, I'll have it, I'll have it due, let's say, um, either the Friday. Friday. Friday? Yeah. When the Friday after the final. Oh, wow. oh. December 13th? Yeah. The finals on Thursday. Or the Monday after the final. Oh, Monday. Monday. You know the Monday? Yeah. So, so do we come here and drop it somewhere? Yeah. You would come here and drop it off at the office. What, which one would you prefer? Monday. 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 About Monday. You, the, I'm going to push it back to the absolute latest so I can collect them then. It could be Monday. Uh, you can't ask me for an extension on that date. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm, your grade is not going to get in. How many points is this? 30 points. We're not even that much. Uh, maybe 17. Yeah. 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 Yeah
Yeah, when I calculate it, I've got to find out the board. But I don't know how to draw the diamond. Come on, I'll forget that. I'll draw this line. I'm just going to start with here. No, 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 not that, not that. I'm not sure how to draw this. Yeah, we want to hear the B1. Yeah, we can fix it. We've got a B1 here, and then we've got a beta, a calculator, and this probably got a different B. You know, start right here. Nah, we don't want to finish the class. Yeah, we do. Yeah, yeah. I tried to finish the class. Oh, you Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Spectroscope. This is it here. The handheld spectroscope has a, a little eyepiece here that you can twist. So twist this until you see the lines match the scale. That is, you want to twist this so that you see the colored lines on the scale. 
Wait, what are we wanting to watch? This eyepiece shouldn't have come loose. If yours is loose, when you look through it, okay, do you see the square port in the front? Point the square one directly at the fluorescent lamp. The square. And then tw twist the eyepiece if necessary so that it lines up. Do you see the green line in the center? <laughs> Yeah. All right, look at the bottom of the scale. This tape? Yeah. Okay. Okay, now, on the bottom of the scale, there's a small tick mark. Right to the right of the, there's a large tick mark between 500 and 600. Do you see it? It's 550. And right to the right of the 550 mark is a small line. That small line has to line up with the green line. And the way you get that to line up is you stick a, a pen or pencil in the front on this piece of black plastic and move the scale to the right or to the left until that line lines up. OK, while you're doing that, your partner can set up the lab quest. <laughs> The small line or the, the small line just to the right of 550. Like I see on the bottom. <laughs> the colors are all the way on this side. And so rotate this knob until the colors line up on Do this I take side. the table? Yeah, yeah take that? the table. Let me try it because I'm not sure what I'm doing. All right, you guys need one more piece of equipment for your lab class. It's in this box here. This is the you talked about this Yeah, this is the new equipment. Uh, there's some boxes up here at the front. Yeah, it's something. Did you look at that little tick market that's kind of scale, but it's kind of a budget right now? Below it. Below it. Below the 550. All right, you guys, this is what I what I see when I'm looking in. I see the 550 mark here. There's the 500. Here's the 600. Just to the right of the 550 mark at about 447 is a line that's down at the bottom. Do you see that? That's the line that you want to line up the green line from the fluorescent lamp with. All right, does everybody have that down? If not, it's okay. Let me talk about the next part of the setup. The next part of the setup is you're going to get your lab plus two. And then you're going to plug this into the USB channel of your lab plus two. The SpectroViz Plus. Got it? Okay, next, you're, in this bag is a fiber optic cable. The fiber optic cable do not bend too much. You'll break it. It's just glass. It's a glass cable. So be gentle with the fiber optic cable, please. Plug the fiber optic cable 
into the SpectroViz Plus, lining it up. Do you see there's a triangle on the fiber optic cable? There's a triangle on the SpectroViz Plus? Align them. And then insert it. Okay, so it should look like this. Doesn't matter if you, which way you plug it in. It, it matters which way you plug it in. The two triangles have to line up with each other. Are the two triangles lining up with each other? Yes. Good. Do you see the tri triangle there? Over there. Yeah. All right, so this is what you're going to do with the SpectroViz Plus. Turn it on. This, it's really easy um, to do. It's this is just taking a long time to start up. I'll show you. And so what they're going to do is they're just going to point this at the light source. Wow. And then just read it on the Once once we get it started. Right? I don't know. Yeah, um, I told him about this, so he might do it. All right, the first thing you have to do is it'll automatically recognize it. Do you guys get this on the screen? Yeah. Okay, tap it, and then you're going to change units. You're going to change the units to intensity. And so it should say USB, because we have a USB sensor in there. And then the unit's relative intensity. OK? Good. All right, now what we're going to do is you're just going to hit the um, start, the green button there. And then we're going to analyze. It's still starting up? OK, now point it at the fluorescent lamp. Do you see some peaks there? Wait It's collecting. I wanted to point at a light bulb. All right. Okay. Those peaks are the what? What colors of light are coming off the fluorescent lamp? Oh, okay. There. That's good. Okay. That's good. So this is charging. We have to set up an experiment to save the data. We're just looking at it right now. Yeah, this you see the full spectrum. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. All right, so we could we could say let's do a data acquisition here. All right, how do we do a data acquisition? I'm going to stop. That's real time recording. When you stop it, you see you collected some data and you see the spectrum. Is that changing? All right, you see the, the, the colors. What we can see is we can see on this peak here, we can see the most intense colors from the fluorescent lamp here. There's going to be one um, at uh, 544.7 and another at about um, 
at 611. You guys see that? What you can do is, you can, on the bottom of the graph, you can just move the black line to peak pick. Or you can just tap the screen to peak pick. Can you go to the table? And so I, I see two intense lines. Okay, now what you want to do is hopefully you have enough battery. You can come over here to the white light and then see what the spectrum for white light looks like. Professor, why did you have to uh, change the setup? I'm sorry? What, what setup did you have to change? Uh, in, relative in, um, the, change the units to relative intensity. Doesn't have to be right by the bolt. No, it doesn't have to be. Just in front. The only thing is, just on, on the PC, this, the background's colored, and so it's red over here, violet over here, and then it has a rainbow. But this one, it doesn't. Let me see if I can figure it out. Let me figure that out. That, well, anyway, this is what we're going to do. We're just going to go ahead and just read the readings. The cool thing about this is you see the color, but the least really cool thing about this is you see the color too. But, but it should, it should be. Yeah. We should have the colors. Yeah. All right, go to graph. Show graph. Show spectrum. So go to graph. Show show graph. Show spectrum. Does everybody have that? Okay, so yeah, that's nice, isn't it? And so what that peak means is we get some green light and it looks like some orange light, huh? That's the, this yeah. Did you get it? Show what you're going to do with I mean, that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, now, what you, what you see here is do the fluorescent lamps emit all colors of the rainbow? No, they only emit the colors that you see the peaks at. The green and the yellow? Right, the green and the yellow. And then you want to go to the light bulb here. Does the incandescent light bulb emit all the colors of the rainbow? This one is the fluorescent? I didn't take that many scans, so some people are taking a lot more scans, and so they're getting more. The more scans you take, the, the less noise you have. The noise you see, all that vibration at the bottom. And so what we could do is um, we could select data collection. I, I have just six samples. I'm going to increase that to maybe a thousand samples. Sample times 50 milliseconds. And hit click OK. Now I'm going to just measure it. Sample time at what? Just leave the sample time as is. Where do we do it? I'll just hit the little. Um, you could either hit. There are different ways. You, you could just hit the. Um, Okay, get out of this mode and go to the meter mode. Or actually, you're on meter mode. Hit in intensity on the right. Intensity? Right here? Yeah. And then, oops, not that one. I'll do it. There are different ways you could do it. <laughs> One way you can do this is you just hit, um, you smile. You're collecting the face. Oh, you're collecting that? I'm 
Just take it around and boot it up at each station. I think you will. No, actually, we're going to start. Are you guys ready to start? Start one. All right. Let me talk about this. Let's just start again. Yeah. Okay. What you're going to do is you're going to turn on the the black lamps at each desk station there, and then you're just going to look at those using the handheld, like this point the square at, directly at the lamp, and then you're going to look at it using the fiber optic cable. Point the, the end of the fiber optic cable at the lamp, and then look at the spectra. The spectrum is, is the, the graph. You aren't going to record it. You just save it. Save it on the machine? Yeah. We don't have to color anything about that No, it's not yet. So, who has to... Our machine is like totally dead. So if you do a it, you totally start. Start. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, the battery's totally dead? Yes. yes. Okay. So we're going to plug this in. Alright, this one is having difficulty with the touch screen. The touch screen is on. Working. Yeah. No, no, do, you could do shorter. Just collect ten samples, probably. Here. Okay, so you can start it again? We don't want it to freeze it again. Just collect ten samples. Ten? Yeah. Ten at 50 milliseconds would be 500 milliseconds. It's a half a second. So for So ten at 50 milliseconds? Yeah. Yeah. Are we supposed to see something on the graph when we're recording it? Of course. But did you start it? Yes. You're not, you point at a light. Point at that. You're pointing at that light. Just leave it. Is it done? Okay. Yeah, boy. 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 Don't make me use my window. Watch out for the fiber optic cable. Don't let it get pulled out of the spectro viz. Otherwise, you aren't going to get any signal. It's not supposed to be should we disregard and start recording again? No, that's okay. You're okay. Watch out! If the fiber optic cable gets pulled out of the spectral viz, you're not going to get. You're, all you're going to get is noise. 
So now it's okay, right? Yeah, now it's okay. Don't cross the sword. So if we're using this device, why are we using this one? Professor? It's the same. They give you the same, so you see it. You can see it visually, or you can see it using this instrument here. Um, but the thing is, we don't use the blue one, because the blue one, you have to record the data by hand. This one will record it and save it as a file. These lights contaminate. we got to shut off the fluorescent lamps, otherwise you're going to get... Uh, light contamination. So let me shut it off, and we're going to get light contamination no matter what because the stock of window plus the incandescent lamp here. So do you want to save it? Uh, yeah. Uh, so this one we can't create full spectrum when we're supposed to? Yeah. Okay. The, the full spectrum with the light bulb here means you're getting all the colors of the rainbow, including, you know, the, the white there is infrared. So oh, this part right here. Yeah, right, right. Infrared. The one on the right, you can't see it. It's infrared. But our detector can detect. But that's called near infrared. Uh, what we do is we're going to save the data. So when you collect another, you know, save or.